Hey everybody, welcome back to the second part on acid derivatives. Like I said, and like I promised you guys, this specific part will be a bunch of examples. Uh, it will be six examples for those six reactions, and we'll go through them systematically nice and quick. I don't intend on making this video so long. Um, hopefully, five minutes will be max. Okay, so let's go through these examples, and let's see if we crank them out with the answers, okay? Best thing for you guys to do right now is pause the video and see. Okay, let me just show you guys all the problems. Pause the video and see if you guys can answer them and then compare your answers to mine, okay? So that's what you guys should do. I'm going to go through this quick now. Now, the first thing we see is um, a carboxylic acid reacting with SOCl2, which is known as thionyl chloride. All we have to do is replace the OH with a Cl. That's what I'll do and I'll get my product. Okay. There you have it. There's our acid chloride. Uh, second reaction, we have an uh, not, not an anhydride. We have two carboxylic acids under high heat conditions. We're in the form of anhydride. Now you guys may get confused. Like, wait, how is this going to work? Wasn't the two carboxylic acids in the example you showed us in the first part separate from each other? Well, yeah. Now you could have two carboxylic acids on a ring, and they could combine to form an anhydride. That's that forms a ring structure. Okay, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly legal it's not illegal um, so in this case the same technique we, we used last time in the first part we use the same technique here erase one of the OH's from one of the carboxylic acids erase one of the H's from the second carboxylic acids to effectively form this thing right here and connect the two fragments together okay obviously it's gonna look funky from right now if we connect it like well it doesn't look that funky but there we connect the two together and that's our product so let's draw it let me write the original problem again our product will look like this there you have it and hydride perfectly legal it doesn't go against any laws or anything like that we're perfectly fine okay so there's our anhydride. Uh, third reaction, here we have a carboxylic acid, sodium hydroxide, with a alkyl halide. Remember, your alkyl halide has to be primary. So when you look at this, you're like, oh, let's make our ester. But before you do, you have to look at your alkyl halide to make sure it's primary. In this case, how we determine it's primary is by looking at the carbon that's directly attached to the halogen. If that carbon is attached to only one other carbon, then it makes it primary. In this case, this carbon here is attached to one carbon there perfectly legal we could proceed with the reaction in order to draw the product all we have to do to form our ester is replace the H with the R group in this case it will be the 1 2 carbon chain that has the phenyl group pH stands for phenyl phenyl meaning an aromatic ring a benzene ring okay so to draw a product we'll do um, that okay and then we have our O and then 1 2 let's draw our 2 carbon chain and then with a phenyl group hanging off of it. There you have it. Okay, there's our product right there. I, let me make sure that looks right. Yeah, that's perfectly right. Okay, again, it has to be primary alkyl halide. Um, reaction four, let me zoom, let me push this down a little bit down here. Reaction four, here we have a, um, a carboxylic acid with an alcohol and under acidic conditions. Um, this is known as the Fischer esterification. Make sure you're comfortable with the names. Um, the alcohol can be primary, secondary, or tertiary. It doesn't really matter. Um, so in this case, all we have to do to draw a product under acidic conditions is to replace the OH group with this piece here that I'm going to put in brackets. Right there. Okay. So now, in order to draw a product, all we have to do is draw our starting material. and attach that group there and there we have our our uh, ester okay? reaction number five here we have a carboxylic acid reacting with an amine okay let me zoom out just a little bit okay here we have a carboxylic acid with an amine in this case this is a secondary amine the reason why nitrogen is attached to one carbon group a second carbon group so it makes it a secondary amine 
In this case, remember, these carbon groups can be H's, if you recall, and look back to my first video. So, carboxylic acid, um, uh, this amine un with DCC, you'll get an amide. All you have to do is replace the OH with this thing I'm going to put in brackets here. The nitrogen directly attacks, uh, attaches to the carbon of the carbonyl, so you'll get that. There's your amide, okay? Uh, final reaction, here we have um, a long carbon chain with the carboxylic acid hanging at one end. BH3, known as borane, one equivalent of it. All we do is reduce this, we get rid of the double bonded O to get our product. So we get a long primary alcohol. So let me see, um, so, right here, so. I think that's make sure that's correct. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there you have it. And that covers some examples for how these problems will be shown in your exams, quizzes, whatever you expect to see. Um, so there you have it. Nice and quick um, video on some examples for the first group of acid derivatives, which is known as carboxylic acids. Okay. So there you guys have it. Hope this uh, made sense to you guys. And thank you for watching. This is Mobile 12 signing out.